hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome if you are old or if you have been here for a while thank you so much for coming back to another video if you're not subscribed yet please click the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time i post a new video i post new videos every wednesday on this channel or i try i try to post new videos every wednesday on this channel so um please subscribe turn on the bell notification so you get notified anyways um today's video is basically going to be more like advice that i wish i got when i was at university so um as a first year at, at, at a university or at a vocational training center or a uh, a college or so so um this is the kind of advice that i wish i got when i first started if you are up to get that kind of advice then stay tuned and learn to get into the video <laughs> i don't know what i'm trying to do i'm trying to do that well, if you're not on TikTok, you won't get it. Anyways, let's get into the video. decided to divide this into three 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 sections okay so um the first one is going to be on friends and then it's going to be academics and then it's going to be social life so uh friends the first advice that i would like to give someone when it comes to friendship and and university college vdc where you uh, i'm going to be referring a lot to university or unum because that's where i was so um please bear with me this is advice for everyone regardless of whether you are at a vocational training center a college or a university yeah anyways friends you need to choose your friends wisely because the kind of friendships that you make in your first year at university will determine the rest of your lifestyle or your uh, habits, hobbies that you'll be doing at university. So I would suggest or I would advise someone to rather have three groups of friends and it might seem like it's too much, I know, but to be honest, you can't get you can't get the kind of benefits that I'm going to mention now from all these three group of friends from just one group. So, um, friends, okay, so the first group of friends that you will need are, these are your friends from your classes, the friends that are having this, doing the same, either doing the same course as you or they are in the same class as you are. These friendships are kind of important in the sense that if you might have forgotten about a test, if you might have forgotten about an assignment and stuff, these people can, like, you can reach out to them. And if you are struggling with school, you're struggling with getting certain stuff, these are the people that you go to because they understand they are in the same boat as you and they are most likely to be able to help you. So that's why you need that kind of friendship. And then the second type of friendship that you will need are the friends that are not in your classroom and they're not from your from the other group of friendship that I'll be mentioning as well. And these are just friends that you go to after school. These are your after after lectures, after school friendships. Say if for instance if you're someone that stays in the hostel, then these are their friends that these are the people about the people that you meet at the hostel. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Yeah, these are the people that you the people these are the people that you meet in your in, in 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 your hostel or wherever you are living in your in your living area and why you need these people is basically just so that when you get back from school and you're just feeling like oh gosh i need to have a chat to someone i'm feeling alone and this home these are the type of people that you can talk to you can communicate with this can be your roommate this can be someone who's your neighbor yeah stuff like that and then the thirdly the, this I feel like is the most important type of friendship that you're ever gonna need to keep. This is uh, the friendship that you had or your friends that you had from high school. The friends that you had from primary school. The friends that you had for the longest time. These are the friends that you keep. And by whatever, uh, by whatever means you make sure that you keep in touch with these friends. Because these are the people that are gonna tell you like, no, honey, you are wrong here. Honey, this is not you. This Like once you are going in a direction that's basically not you and it's not who you've been your whole life and it's 
basically you want to start doing stuff you're not supposed to be doing these people will tell you nah they they'll put you back in your place so yeah those are the three type of friendship levels that everybody i wish needs to know or needs to have in college and then thirdly let's move on to academics so uh when it comes to academics i'm gonna speak more on the classes aspect so um do not ever ever okay so the first advice i would give to someone is like never miss a class as easy as this sounds as stupid as this might come off or as silly as this might sound like missing a class in university is probably the worst mistake you could ever do not only do some lectures ask uh, exam or test question based on stuff that they are saying in class rather than stuff that they have given you in notes or in textbook but then again once you miss a lesson it just becomes so much easier to mix to miss the next lesson and the next lesson and the next lesson because you kind of build this habit of being okay with not attending classes and then the more classes you miss the easier it gets for you to not even attend classes at all so um it's important that you try to never miss a lesson in school because the more lessons you miss not in school but in university uh the more lessons you miss the much more easier it is for you to feel or fall behind with your school work and then if you're like if you're someone that say for example you like okay now this is the second advice if you're someone that likes uh, uh asking questions to understand something i mean we have those people but you don't want to come off as a net which is by the way it's not wrong honestly speaking i don't know why we make being a net such a bad thing it's not at all but anyways if you are that type of person that likes to ask questions I would advise you to never ever ever sit in the back of a lecture. Never sit in the back of a classroom. Always sit in the front row. Like people are always never going to want to sit in the front row, the front row, the middle rows. That's where you need to sit if you want to ask a lecturer questions because if you keep asking too many questions, sometimes it can get annoying, it can get frustrated it can get frustrating so if you're sitting in the back of the classroom and you're trying to ask a question that's following another question but you didn't want to raise your hand or whatever it just gets much more harder if you're sitting in the back of a classroom than when you're sitting in the front and your lec- the lecturer kind of just pays more attention to you if you're sitting in the front than when you're sitting in the back because in the back that's where everybody that's on their phone everybody that's not so interested everybody that's doing something else another assignment or whatever that's where all of those ty- type of people sit in the class because then they don't want they don't want the lecturer to see what they are doing which means you'll be having more distractions when you're sitting in the back of the lecture lecture hall than if you are sitting in the front So um the next thing I would say is find a study buddy. Um this is something that we all did in high school so I don't know why when you get to university it becomes such a strange thing or it becomes something that people don't do or feel weird about doing but it's important that you find someone to study with or to do your assignments with because they might understand something differently and the way they understand it and explain it to you in their understanding might just help you so um find a study buddy find somebody that you do your assignments together with not not saying go we'll copy each other's assignments now no obviously no but like yeah you do stuff together and it just it just helps you understand things better as well so on to the social life aspect I'm just going to be brutally honest about this one. Like you need a social life. You can't just come from classes, room, sleep, back to classes, room, sleep. No. You need to have some kind of social life when you are at university. And to be honest, there's this thing that they say that um college is your college uh, being uh, like the, the, your time at college or university is basically going to be the best four years for you to discover who you are to discover what you like what you don't like things uh, who you are basically things that you are capable of things that you aren't capable of so um you uh, being at university should be the time that you take 
those four years should be the time that you take to actually try to discover who you are and what you want and what you're going to take, what you're willing to take and what you're not willing to take. So, um, also, the most important thing with uh, being social is that you need to attend events, guys. You need to go to uh, uh, either now social events being hosted by school, social events being hosted by other places and stuff. Like, you need to attend these events because not only does it connect you to more people and brings you, like, kind of, you learn more about other people and you get out of this bubble of just knowing a few stuff and knowing uh this small little bubble and then you kind of get to know a lot and discover a lot so it's important that you go to events social events participate in events join societies uh go to new places discover new stuff that you never thought you might know but then as you are doing that as much fun as you are having as much uh uh, uh, as much as you are involved socially into different activities, you need to remember that the reason that you are at this university or the reason that you are at this college or this vocational training center is academics first. It's okay for you to say, hey, no, I don't want to go out tonight because I have a test tomorrow. Nobody is going to be mad for that. So it's okay for you to know your limits. It's okay for you to know that, no, I can't do this. I can't do that. I'm not willing to do that. And yeah, so as, uh, as much fun as you are willing to have, it's also just important to know how to balance that fun with your academics. And always be safe, guys. When you're going out and doing this kind of stuff, be safe. Uh, college is one of the times where people get raped the most. I'm sorry, um, this might come off bad, but like, uh, people get raped in college and people end up dropping out because they get depressed over stuff that they went through so be careful with how much drugs you are using if you're using drugs be careful with how much alcohol you're drinking if you're drinking alcohol be careful who you are hanging out when you're doing this kind of stuff and just be safe be responsible and do everything in moderation and then um, college is supposed to be the best time of your life. Trust me. If you ask a lot of people that have been to college and you ask them what was the best time of your life, they might just say college. So, yeah. Anyways, um, that will be all the advice that I would give you for today. If you like to see more college videos like this, please leave a comment down below. If there is some type of advice that you know or that you would like to give to someone that's in college, please leave that down below also and let's get into this whole discussion of college in the comment section below. Anyways, uh, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, if you have a new video ideas that you'd like to suggest for me to do, please uh, leave a comment in the description box below. Um, yeah. Um, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time I post new videos. Like I said, we post new videos every Wednesday. So, um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Mwah. Mwah.